fighting for animal rights, a group of people in North Georgia want to prevent dogs from being tied up outside all the time. Good evening and thanks for joining us tonight. I'm Kim Chapman. And I'm Josh. Oh, in Catoosa County, there are no laws that limit tethering. Bliss segment tells us why one man says what he is doing is not inhumane. Bliss. Josh, Kim, residents I spoke with said there are several animals in their county that are left to fend for themselves on a short rope with an adequate shelter. They're hoping local lawmakers will hold these pet owners accountable, but right now both Catoosa County law and some pet owners say what they're doing isn't wrong. What some call abuse, others consider loving ownership. It's part of our religion to take care of the dogs before us. We are responsible for them. Akra Musil says his two dogs are like members of his family, saying they receive plenty of food, water, and attention. But some, like Debbie Simkus in Catoosa County, disagree. I've watched that puppy now go from being a lively puppy jumping and playing to just laying there and being lost and abandoned. Simkus and several others say this dog is tied up 24 7. They don't want to completely outlaw tethering, but instead limit it. It's an unacceptable method of confinement for any animal, and it has no place in a humane society. According to the American Veterinary Medical Association, prolonged tethering can directly injure a dog, including causing neck wounds and oxygen deprivation. AVMA also says tethering leaves a dog defenseless to the elements and to other animals and can make them territorial and aggressive. However, some dog owners say that's not always the case. I train bird dogs. Uh, one of the first things that my pups do is they get on a chain gang. And it, what that does for them is it gives them the opportunity to understand, that, hey, I, I don't have to pull around this thing. Reese Chambers says houndsmen, like himself, use tethering as a training tool. He argues that chaining dogs in a humane manner actually helps animals. However, those proposing the law say it wouldn't apply to responsible pet owners. He's taking care of dogs, and where would those dogs be without him? It's the difference in when they're just an ornament in your yard to say, I have a dog, and the way you care for them. According to AnimalLawSource.org, right now more than 20 counties in Georgia currently have laws limiting tethering. Kim. Bliss, thank you. Commissioner just listened to concerns tonight. They won't be voting on any kind of law or ordinance on this just yet.